Uh, Michelle Bachman? She doesn't like Muslims. She hates Muslims. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, she, hates, she wants to go get them. Wow. Wow. Okay. Well, that's not Taking aim once Hunt again at Israel and the United States, Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad repeated inflammatory comments that he made three years ago, saying Israel would soon disappear. Ahmadinejad first made the remarks in 2005, fueling international outrage and speculation that he was threatening the Jewish state with a nuclear weapon. But while speaking at a ceremony honoring the late founder of Iran's Islamic Republic, Ahmadinejad told an audience that, quote, this origin of corruption will soon be wiped off the Earth's face. Ahmadinejad also called the U.S. a satanic power that, with God's will, would be annihilated. Tuesday. Okay. Obviously, I would like to see a lot less nuclear weapons. I, I, I don't want Iran to have a nuclear weapon. I would like to reduce them because there would be less chance of war. But to declare war on 1.2 billion Muslims and say all Muslims are the same, this is dangerous talk. Yeah, there are some radicals, but they don't come here to kill us because we're free and prosperous. Do they go to Switzerland and Sweden? Sweden's third largest city, Malmer, sits just across the water from Copenhagen, Denmark. To visitors, Malmer seems quiet, nice, maybe a little boring. In other words, quintessentially Swedish. But under the surface, Malmer has serious problems. On Saturday, when Israel played Sweden in a Davis Cup tennis match in Malmer, an estimated 6,000 leftists, Arabs, Muslims, and anarchists protested the Israeli presence in the city, and many attacked police. Almost no fans were allowed inside to watch the tennis series because authorities feared disruptions or violence. Massive immigration has made Malmer today one quarter Muslim and stands to transform it into a Muslim majority city within just a few decades. One of the most popular baby names is not Sven, but Mohammed. Pork has been taken off some school menus. Want to learn to drive? Here's Malmer's own Jihad Driving School. And despite Malmer's usually placid appearance, this experiment in multiculturalism has not gone well. This is the Rosengard area of Malmer, a housing project where the radicalization and crime have exploded and fire and emergency workers will no longer enter without police protection. Immigrant unemployment in Rosengard is reported to be 70 percent. An immigrant-fueled crime wave affects one of every three Malmer families each year. The number of rapes has tripled in 20 years. And the crime wave has only accelerated a Swedish version of white flight from the city. Malmer has been so accommodating toward immigrant Muslims that a local Muslim politician and imam has even declared that the best Islamic state is Sweden. But don't ask Malmer's Jews to give the city the same glowing assessment. Jews who dare walk the streets wearing their yarmulkes risk being beaten up. In December, an Iraqi-born immigrant tried to plant bombs at a Swedish street mall. Luckily, his bombs malfunctioned. He only blew up himself in his car. Then, at the end of the month, Sweden and Denmark arrested five Islamist militants and accused them of planning additional terrorist attacks. In five days, the whole discourse of the whole country changed. You know, we were in a state of denial. Every time we talked about the threat, people were charging with stigmatization, with Islamophobia. Um, now, it changed. Serait mal vu, hérétique même. Je me demande s'il existe des musulmans qui veulent introduire la Sharia en Suisse. Je serais pour que la charia soit introduite en Suisse. Il y a tant de problèmes. Des femmes qui se prostituent, des gens qui se droguent. Dans l'islam, ils ne pourraient pas. La police nous donne une amende quand on est mal garé. Pourquoi Pour qu'on ne commette pas deux fois la même erreur. En islam, on coupe la main ou on donne des coups de fouet. Ce sont des punitions pour nous empêcher de voler, de devenir des voleurs. C'est la raison de ces châtiments. C'est une réponse adaptée Oui, oui. Une punition aussi sévère Oui, Dieu nous connaît mieux. Et vous êtes pour l'introduction de la charia en Suisse Ah oui, je le souhaite. Ainsi, un adultère peut être puni de 100 coups de fouet ou de la lapidation. I think this wild goal to have another war in the name of defense is the dangerous thing. The, dangerous, the danger is really us overreacting.
This video, aired on Iranian state-run television, shows what state media Thursday said were new missile tests. A news anchor said among the weapons tested was a long-range missile capable of hitting targets at 2,000 kilometers. And quickly, Israel issued a strong warning. Ehud Barak, Israel's defense minister, suggested that Israel was ready to attack Iran's nuclear program. Really us overreacting and we need a strong national defense and we need to only go to war with a declaration of war and just carelessly flouting it and starting these wars so often. Speaker Gingrich. Speaker Gingrich is Congressman and the Paul. Point would be, can I respond to that? Can I respond? And the problem would be the greatest underreaction in world history if we have an avowed madman who uses that nuclear weapon to wipe nations off the face of the earth and we have an IAEA report that just recently came out that said literally Iran is within just months of being able to obtain that weapon okay. nothing could be more dangerous than the comments that I, we I just heard answer. all right 30 seconds there, there is no UN report that said that is totally wrong on what you what you just said. I -A 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 that, that, is not, that, that is not true. They, they produced information that led you to believe that, but they have no evidence. There's no, been no enrichment and of these bombs. And if we agree with that, if we agree with that, the United States people could okay. be at risk she, she of our took national my time. It's been a constant question pushed by the U.S. and Israel. Is Iran working toward a nuclear bomb? Now in a new report, the International Atomic Energy Agency says it could be. Iran insists its program is for peaceful purposes, but the UN watchdog says much of the work that's been done could only be for the purpose of building a nuclear bomb. Saying Iran's been producing the material that would be needed, acquiring design information from a clandestine nuclear supply network, working on fitting it into existing missiles, and testing its work.